So I'm going to show you how to use Kami to edit a document for an assignment and then turn it into Google Classroom. So you'll see here I've got a little demo assignment. I'm going to open that up. Make sure whenever you do your work, you read the directions, obviously, to start. So this says watch the Ed Puzzle first, then do page 38. So I'm going to pretend like I already watched the Ed Puzzle, but make sure you actually do that first. And then you'll see a page 38 down here, and you'll see your name on it. Um, in this case, it's a test account I'm using, so it's not my name. But you'll see your name on the document that shows that it's your work. I'm going to open that up here. You should see a button that says Open with Cami. If you don't see that button pop up, you can go over here to the three dots. And then you can do Open in New Window. And then you'll see an option up top here that says like Open with, and then you can choose Annotate with Cami. It takes a second to load. Yep, so here's Open with, and then Annotate with Cami that way. I think the other way is a little bit easier because the button's right there. A little bit fewer quick clicks here, so it's a little bit easier to do this. Once you do that, you'll see your version of the document in Kami. Make sure whenever you're doing your work like this, you're putting in all the necessary steps or explanations. That way your teacher can see everything that they're looking for like it would be on a normal piece of paper. So here is the document. It's finally loaded here. It's loading. Um, whenever you type in your work here for math, there's some other cool tools on the side here, like an equation tool. Um, so say the answer you want here is like five, you could just type the number five or like say it's five to the third, you can use what we call the caret tool. So you could type it in like this, five caret three using a text box, but that formatting is not very nice. So instead you can use the equation tool, five shift six, three, and that makes it look a lot nicer. And then you can move this around. You can also change the size of the font. So if it's too small, like this is obviously a little bit small, you can change that font size, make it a little bit bigger. Um, these are obviously wrong answers, so don't just copy those answers. And you can also use a drawing tool if that's easier to um, write your work out that way, or you can use a text box. Whatever is easiest for you to make your work um, formatted nicely and answering the questions. Now I'm going to pretend like I'm done. This is obviously not done, but once you're done, what you can do then is up top, you'll see a save button that also says turn in. That's the really important button you need to use. So if you press that, then you'll see turn in. If you don't do this, teacher does not get your work. So once you do this, it saves your document with all your notations on it to your Google Drive, and it should sync it back to Google Classroom so your teacher has access to all your work. So here we go, it's got it saved. If you wanna make sure that your work was actually saved, you can always click on this document and you'll see your work with the notes on it. So I just did, I just submitted it with my work. I wanna make sure it actually showed my writing though. So I'm gonna go here to my work and I'll see my document again with my notations on it. So I know for sure my teacher got my work with the document, not just a blank document. And that's how you do it. Then the teacher will give you feedback and then you can see it again in Kami to use that to change your work if needed.